Oh, well, shalom, Rastafari. Where do we begin with this particular subject matter? Rastafari cite the black Christ. But yet, that's offensive to certain people. Why? We have to explore this particular question. Why can't some see the black Christ? Why is the black Christ or Yeshua HaMoshiach as an Ethiopian, as a Beta Israel, as Amos 9 and 7 says, are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, the Bene Kushim unto me, O Bene Israel. One particular interesting um, note is that in in the so-called Middle East, the term Kushi, right, the term Kushi, which means Kush and is translated from the Hebrew to mean Ethiopia, is used in the very same way as Negro or nigger and Negro is used and has been used in the um, Western um, Gentile uh, world or under white supremacy, right, Anglo, European, Anglo-American white supremacy. All right, so how do we get into this particular subject matter? First, I want to start out with just a, a, a scripture, right, um, and this scripture is going to be John 1, dealing with the Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, we could touch on this from the perspective of the, of the real God particle, which is melanin, right? We could touch on that from the real God particle, melanin. There's a lot of um, science out there that basically verifies, even in genetics, the black gene is the dominant gene, and, and we know that the different races and colors come through a permutation or, in some cases, a recession from that black dot, right, that black dot. But the title, first of all, we, we was thinking, a working title was Rastafari Sight, the Black Christ, Healing Color Blindness. Healing color blindness with a question mark there. More light, more light. Now, if you um, study color blindness and what is said of color blindness, they say, while well, one person, for example, may just see um, black, right? You know, when they see the color, they see black. And, and it depends on what trauma based mind control or racism or, or, um, um, stereotypes have been told to them, whether by education or miseducation, whether by experience or misexperience, whether by environment or misenvironmental factors, as we deal with it sociologically and historically. One may look at, for example, green and just see green, but then Another person see, see a hidden message in the green. This is the same way that I and I sight with the true divine or divine light or the true illumination of the word of God. And here's what we're going to begin to kind of connect the dots right here. Um, the deity of Jesus Christus in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. The, his pre-incarnation work, all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. And we know this is true of the, the God particle, the black dot. Now they're looking for dark matter, the Higgs bosom, right? The Kana bosom, the Higgs bosom. Very interesting link via a whole other lecture on that particular subject matter as well. But one is free to investigate as they will. So we know that all things are made on carbon. And carbon is the black dot within nature, that carbon, carbon organic, right? This carbon organic, right? Now, as we go further, it says, in him was life. So in him, so in this carbon, in this black dot, in this dark matter was life, and the life was the light or the illumination, which you can say the true light of men, and the light shineth in darkness. Now, here's something very interesting. One will say, well, isn't that black? No, dark is dark and black is black. Some folks don't understand that. You know what I mean? And, and through their, through their um, miseducation, right, and through the lies and deception of the enemy of the true black, they believe that, like, blackmail, you know, blackmail is extortion, 
and, and the black day, black cat, everything bad is black, but then it's also flipped in another mode, tall, dark, and handsome, and that is said to be positive. So we have to duly note that. So it says the light shineth in darkness. Now this darkness is not black, the say black, but this darkness is ignorance, right? So the light is the word, is the logos. But now the logos is made flesh. So you have to over that process right there where the word now becomes incarnate. The word now, the rate of vibration, right? This rate of vibration slows down, right, to that level where it's touchable. And they found out now in science that even those things we think are solid are not really solid, right? And, 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 and the whole science or discovery of it really is proving for those of us who are Rastafari, like scientists, the knowledge, the scientia, the, the gnosis, the gnosis, and getting out of the ignorance, all right? So the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness or the ignorance comprehendeth it not. Now, the Holy Spirit gave me that to kind of uh, um, begin off this particular reasoning, and, and this I want to kind of demonstrate as well, and I want to compare uh, John 1 with Romans as well, Romans chapter 1, right? Romans chapter 1, and this part right here where it says from verse 6, For I, and I and I, am not ashamed of the gospel, the good news of Christos, of the Moshiach, of the black Messiah, of Christ and his kingly character, for it is the power, the Heil of Egeziavihir, it is the power of the sustainer to salvation, to everyone that, it says, believeth, and we've done studies on this, it's the word mamen, right, in the Ethiopic, and the royal Amharic, and it's ma'amin in the Hebrew, and comes from the root, the amen, and Revelation 3.14, Yeshua HaMoshiach says, I am the amen, right, the amen. Now, of course, that's some very Egyptian, but we know our true Ethiopian Hebrew roots, that is not strange. This is just that process. This is part of that process of going from low degrees to higher degrees. And what's returning to where the true Adam or the black man fell from, the true man fell from, right? It says to the Jew first, the black Jew first, and also to the Greek or the European. This was that paradigm of black and white, the Jew or the Judahite. Right, Jew, and when we look at um, Tacitus, the Roman historian, he says that the Ethiopians of of the Tisha B'av, 70 A.D. time, were of the race, the Ethiopian Prolum, and we know the Ethiopian Prolum is basically the race of the Ethiopians. So it's very clear that it is black, or in other words, right, we can say Ethiopian within the biblical context, not in the confusion of the careless Ethiopians, mind that difference, mind the gap. And also to the Greek, to the European, what we call the European, or in today's term, the black and the white. This is proper overstanding Turgum interpretation. Verse 17, for therein is the righteousness of God, of Hashem HaElohim, revealed from faith to faith, from Imnet to Imnet, from Hymenot to Hymenot, from Amen to Amen, as it is written, the just or the tzaddik, the tzaddik on shall live by faith, shall live by the amen or the imnet, in other words. Now, here it speaks of the guilty world. The gospel, the wengel, the good news is also a revelation of wrath. There's a revelation of wrath. So we as Rastafari, we speak about judgment, right, about judgment and the fire bun and the judgment for the wrath of God, which we know scripturally, theologically, is the wrath of the Lamb revealed in Revelation, is revealed from heaven. So there's an interest in the witness of the stars, the witness to the stars. Very good book by Edward um, 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 Bullinger, and we also have a reprint of that with a very special uh, foreword for Rastafari, because there's a prophecy in there concerning the return of the Son of Man that corresponds to the King of Kings, or the Maui Hala Tzalasi, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. So the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness 
and unrighteousness of men, of men and people who hold the truth in unrighteousness. So there's many who hold the black Christ, the true black Christ, according to the word made flesh, they hold it in unrighteousness, right? It is an insult, right? It is an offense. But the truth is an offense, yet the truth is not a sin. Now, as we move forward in this study right here, because there's a demonstration coming up that we want to share with you, the universe is a revelation. The universe is a revelation of the power and the deity of Ha Elohim, of the true and living God. Verse 19, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. And is manifest, we can say even to them, but in them. This is the key, in them. So that melanin, that black dot is manifest, right, is manifest in them. Right is manifest in them. Let's go to this ancient, right? This ancient photo right here, right? Is manifest in them. Verse nineteen for Elohim exiavihir the sustainer hath shewed it to them, hath shown it to them. Notice this: that it's manifest in them and has shown it. So we see this connection with melanin, right, and the black dye. Right? Rastafari, when we say uh, the black Christ, was also speaking about this manifestation of that melanin. Now, it's known that melanin also relates to the light. Science has, has gotten up to the ancient mystir and the ancient mystery schools of ancient Kemet coming out of the Tob and Ethiopia, ancient Ethiopia, and preserved within the Hebrew scriptures and the New Testament Wengel, the New Testament gospel. Right, so it's both manifest in them that the black dot, and it is shewed, and God have shewed it to them, right? Shew the, it showed it to them, the melanin, right? But some are color blind. Remember, this is this is teaching on color blindness. Can color blindness be healed? So this first part first is going to be probably on the melanin, right? That God particle. Right? Because remember, it's dark matter that they're looking for. They're trying to figure out what dark matter, what is the God particle. You see, they already know what it is. They want to figure out how do they overcome it, how do they control it. Right? But still, remember we read um, John 1 where it says the light, right, shine and darkness, the ignorance, but the ignorant don't understand that. The ignorant will not overstand this as well in, in, in the same sense. But we pray that if, if the Almighty be so willing that they may be brought to the true light, the light of truth in the face of Jesus Christos, in the face of Jesus Christ. Verse 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world, you get it, that black dot, that God particle from the creation of the world are clearly seen, are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made. In other words, that which has also been, in that sense, created. Let's see if that's a proper, a proper um, correlation right there from the things that are made, it says, in the... King James Version, but let us look right here from the things that are made, right, from the things that are made, I'm reading over the Amharic right here, and I definitely see Fitrat, so we're speaking about that which has been created in the beginning, Bereshit, right, the Mejameria, right, so it says that for the invisible, that which is not visible, so even the God particle and dark matter is not visible, Right? It was not visible to them, right, this blackness. What was it about this particular blackness? And immediately they responded to ignorance, right? And this is where we get um, so-called racism, which some people say it's, it's real, but it's not real. It's just about color. But they have color blindness, right, color blindness. Can color blindness be healed? Well, the scripture says more light, right? And the light is the word made manifest and received and and understood. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly, 
clearly seen. In other words, you don't need no fancy telescope. These are clearly seen. Sight, 